Welcome to 719 FPV. I'm Nick Roberts and today we are going to be upgrading the Darwin FPV Baby Ape Pro. So we are going to be installing the Crossfire 69. Um, so the Crossfire 69 is a all-in-one board which includes a VTX and a receiver. So we are going to be upgrading from our Radio Master R81 receiver to a Crossfire Nano, essentially, and upgrading our VTX, which has a maximum output power of 200 milliwatts, to a high-powered VTX that is advertised up to one watt with perfect cooling. Whatever that means. Definitely better than the 200, so. Let's go ahead, head over to the bench, and let's get this thing installed. All right, so inside the bag for the Crossfire 69, first we have a Immortal T antenna for the receiver side. Here we have a baggie with, looks like a heat sink or a shield, some plastic cover pieces. So we have the 30 by 30 adapter, and then this is just your 20 by 20. We have our pigtail wires. <clears throat> so with this, we are going to remove the video, or the five volt and Let's see this orange one, this black one, and then this white and black one. So we're going to be left with the top red and black for our power and ground. We're going to have the yellow video wire, and we're going to have the white and green RX and TX wires. <clears throat> All right, let's continue. And here we go is the actual board itself. So here is the 69. If you can see, it's kind of divided. There's VTX half, and then over here is the receiver half with the VTX antenna coming off this way and the receiver antenna coming off in the opposite direction. And this is a 20 by 20 board. this will sit something like this with plastic on top just like that and then this little cutout piece will be over the <clears throat> VTX button or maybe that's the bind button like that. So you can hit that button pushing this plastic piece. The antennas will be kind of clamped in with the plastic, which is nice. And everything's plugged in nice and easy. And this is going to fit right in place with the current VTX board. Which is also a 20 by 20 volt pattern. This should be able to slide right in. We'll see. We'll see if we use the plastic or not. Alright, now that we have the old VTX removed, the and we have all wires that we're not going to use removed. This should line up with those holes just like that. Yep, 
and let's see. So it's definitely not going to fit like this. So we're gonna have to take some of this plastic off to make it fit. All right, so I figured out how, to, how I'm going to mount it. I'm going to use just the bare board with the metal um, I don't know, shield, I guess, but I took the nylon nuts, the spacers that were on the original VTX, and I just swapped them over. Um, I just have one screwed in right now just to test uh, fitting, and this is the way I'm going to do it. So I'm gonna have the plug coming off the side. That way I have my RC antenna. Oh, you can't even see. My RC antenna is gonna be coming out to the front with my VTX antenna coming out to the back. And I do that because there's really not much space. So there we go. This is it together. Now with some screws, that's gonna close the gap right there. But when it comes to propeller distance, there's really not that much clearance. So rather than having the antennas come out to the side and try to bend around the propellers, just gonna have them come straight off forward and back and then these I'm gonna be able to tuck around and get out of the way pretty nicely so now that I know that it is going to fit let's go ahead and desolder the VTX cable as well as my R81 receiver so let's go ahead and take these two off because the 69 is gonna replace both pieces. So I won't have this extra receiver floating around in there either, so it should be really nice. Also, if you're wondering what this is, this is my power cable going to my run cam thumb. I have it off the ground and the power off of the LED. So those four, those four pads are for an external LED. Um, so that's where I'm running, getting power for my run cam thumb. Anyway, let's go ahead and unsolder this. That way we can solder this up and we should be good to go. All right, now that we have everything unsoldered, we can figure out the length of wire we need and where we're gonna solder everything up. So let's just go down the line. So this is our 5.5 up to 36 volts. Um, so I don't think a regular five volt pad is gonna work. So we are going to use the positive pad off the straight off the battery. Then ground, we will probably just use the ground pad that we used from our receiver, which is this one right here. Then the yellow, which is our video, it's gonna be this pad right here, right next to this other yellow one. Then our white wire, which is our, I believe it's TX. No. <clears throat> so the white wire, which is our RX wire, is going to come over to this pad right here, which is TX1. Then the green wire, which is our TX pad, 
it's going to come right next to it to RX1. And so those are our five wires that we need to solder up. All right, guys, so with everything soldered up, we've got our RX and TX pads. We've got our power coming off sh straight off the battery. We've got our video down here. And then we've got, yeah, that's it. Oh, and ground, ground we used right here. So with the receiver, the receiver solder pads on the Baby 8 board, we used ground, RX and TX. We got power from our battery and we have the video coming over from the VTX solder pads. Now all we gotta do is make sure all the wiring is good got to attach some antennas and figure out placements for antennas and then we can go test it out all right guys the install is complete we have the VTX antenna coming out the back through the TPU and I have it attached with a zip tie going through the frame. Uh, it's very secure. Um, I may add some hot glue just to kind of help cushion everything, but VTX is perfect. I do have a long TrueRC antenna. I do plan on going to a stubby, but this is all I have, so this is what I'm gonna use for now. For the receiver antenna, I have it coming out the side, right behind the camera. And then it comes down and around the arm and straight up zip tie to the underside of the frame. And I'm going to either zip tie or tape the antenna just like so. But I think everything fit quite well. We have plenty of room on top, so cooling will be not an issue at all. And underneath, there is space. It is kind of just sitting on top of those wires, so we'll see if we get trouble with vibration. But. That's for a later testing video. And if you've made it to the end of this video, I appreciate you. Uh, if you found anything here helpful, please like the video, subscribe, and be on the lookout for future videos, pushing the distance, seeing what kind of penetration we can get with the baby ape running TBS Crossfire with a supposedly up to one watt VTX. So, as always, thank you for watching, and I love you, and I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.